That's a big girl. I get some better lighting. Come out in the yard. I'm sorry. I know it's heavy. But... Come pick this one. Oh. Dude, I gaffed him right there. Came right out the other end. And he fought me for like 30, 30 40 minutes with my gaff. We have a rough estimate that this fish weighs about 50 pounds. For all you cobia experts, let us know what you think. We'll get a measurement on it. It's the man who caught him himself. Oh, Can't man. take any credit. We're going to flay this up and uh, try to make a, a meal out of it. I might get one or two. Probably get another inch of this All right, off. get this measurement. Now, mind you, this fish has been on ice for a little bit. And we're not going to cheat the measurement. We got 47 and a half, probably 48 if I strained it out. So we'll call it 48. That is a beast. All right, just did the first half. Using this Danko knife, not sponsored by yet. First half took a long time. Oh, look at all these chunks of meat. It's a lot of meat. I'm working it from the tail end sections. You can actually see the section that I created. I didn't realize how elevated this backbone was. And when I switch to the other side, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Hopefully, do better in avoiding the stomach this time. Guys, welcome back to the clean and cook of the Cobia. I got Ryan over here today. We took on, guys. we took a back shoulder, I guess you could say a back shoulder loin, small piece from from Jake who caught this. We're just deboning it now. Cut some small pieces off that we're gonna do a little differently, and we're gonna grill this section for the ladies. Looks pretty solid. Pretty excited about this. So when I flayed this loin. Um, I didn't notice there we got some bones in it which created these little tiny segments i guess you could say right there so we're just going to experiment with this we got a little bit of teriyaki sauce yeah we're not looking up recipe or anything these are just the small pieces so if they don't taste good it's not a big deal toss in some teriyaki sauce Let's and see. we're gonna throw that on the grill okay. while we cook the other ones just a little uh teriyaki cobia. just to test it see how see how it is i've never really Put a little Made like it. garlic salt or something on it too. Yeah, maybe some garlic salt. That'd be good. Alright, let's see that. Wang it. But I've never cooked any fish. I've never I've had fish with teriyaki on it, but I've never cooked any fish with teriyaki, so I think it could be uh could be tasty. I mean what's what's bad with teriyaki, really? <laughs> teriyaki. Boom. And then what's the plan for this one, Ryan? Um so these I, are our steaks. I'm just gonna coat this in some fresh cracked pepper, salt, and some lemon juice. And then I have a balsamic vinaigrette with butter, uh, kind of like a glaze that I'm gonna throw on it on the grill after like two minutes. We're gonna put it on the grill for about two minutes and then just sprinkle some of this glaze on there and see how that, see how that turns out. Cool deal. Now we're recording. <laughs> okay, so we already got lemon and salt on this side, but we're gonna put some pepper on there. Flip them all over. Almost looks like a pork chop loin. I know it does. It Thick. looks like it's gonna be Juicy. good. This fish was not easy to flay, I will say that. Sprinkle some lemon like juice. Leather, leather type skin. On these guys. Pepper. Some salt. Comes out pretty quick. And we're ready for the grill.
You acting like the Hulk? Do the Hulk. Yeah. That's the Hulk. All right, we got this nice and hot now. It's sitting at like 400 degrees. Only running these three burners. I told Ryan it cooks a little faster in the back. Stop putting the bigger fillets in the back. That's just not sitting on it, a flame at all. What? That one's not a flame at all. There's oh. other flames over here. So we're gonna move these over. There you go. Now they're cooking, bud. So I made this. It's butter and balsamic vinaigrette. That's all it is. I put it in a pot, melted the butter, added the balsamic, and just mixed it up on low heat. And we're just gonna kind of put a little bit on these. And it's gonna catch me on fire. It's, oh yeah, that's hot. It is vinegar. Yeah. You should've went back to front, bud. Yeah, I know, I should have. It's all good. Smells good though. We're not professional chefs here, but we're gonna make it happen, you know. Speak for yourself. Do you not see my triple tail recipe? I know that was awesome. It was really good. That was really good. Yeah. Jeremy's not here right now. He's the mastermind behind. Yeah, the Jeremy is a good cook. We're just winging it. Right? This video brought to you by Chub Royal. <laughs> just kidding. I like how the bloodline comes out black first. Oh. He actually bled this fish, and then when I cut off its tail, it bled for another like 30 minutes. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah, I had a lot of blood in it. So what I typically do is I rotate those. They look like pork chops. I know, it really does. Looks good though. Look at that, now he's gonna baste it again. I'm oh, sorry in the back. <laughs> back to front this time. Make a mess of my grill. Yep. Get some flavor on there. Mmm, that smell. Smells good. One more time, what was in this? Just balsamic vinaigrette and butter? Balsamic vinaigrette and butter. Alright. And you just coat the fish in lemon juice. Uh, salt and pepper before you throw it in the grill. That's it. You can't beat an easy recipe like that. Super easy. Super I bet you we could do other fish too, not just cobia with this. Yeah, yeah it'll work with anything. But it's cobia is that nice and firm, as you can tell from those grill marks. It's, it hangs on there well. All right. We lost track of time. Probably been about I don't know eight minutes, my guess. These look ready. I'm gonna pull them off. Man, that looks good though. I feel like a nice like dipping sauce would be good with this. Chick-fil-A sauce maybe would be real good. Oh yeah, Chick-fil-A sauce is good with everything. Can't go wrong with Chick-fil-A sauce. What do you guys think? Chick-fil-A sauce and cobia? Yeah. Boom, there you have it, grilled cobia. <laughs> All right, gonna taste this grilled cobia now. I'm a little biased, but look at that. Yeah, that's good. Why are you laughing at, Ballup? <laughs>